What can you eat? Probably like Subway. At can't most. You can't? I can't. Two of the PlayStations. It's on the list. It says which two. I think it's eleven and twelve. Though. On the big, on the TVs over there. so much out of this dynasty it's a pretty game. long okay so like the story's not long but like maps oh, go to maps. like past like level 
one out of oh, There's like shit. way more weapons that you can like grind for and stuff. And like skill, you know, enhancement. Oh, that is a like saying that Fire Emblem Heroes is no longer. Yeah. But like, Bro, that's a whole game. Not, <laughs> no, but like, oh, yeah. the story's not long, but like, there's well, still the a lot more to do. Like, yeah, you can I'll build one it. team, but then maybe you want to do a horse team. And then maybe you know you want to you know use this new unit that you got. They they totally should have cast in on just adding more characters to that game. So I guarantee what, you. Yeah. I think they're just gonna make a second one. I, Are they? I don't know. No, if they, they make a second one, they don't fuck it up. I'd buy that shit in a heartbeat. They make a second one. And they, and they're just like, hmm, maybe this time we put in a uh, popular character. <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? Tell me, nigga. I think he already left. Like a while ago. I mean, yeah, it was like 748 or something. Like yeah. Well, I mean, I could always just chill. I'm not, well, I mean, like, I am doing something tomorrow, but it's not work related, so, like, you're chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. You know, they scheduled me at work on my birthday. Or, 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 no. Well, then what do you mean? Yeah, like, I, I know. Are you supposed to be facetious? I'm like, yo, how did you guys not know it's my birthday? <laughs> I don't even know your last name. <laughs> Dude, I mentioned that shit in passing uh, at my job, and they gave me like a cake. cake. Yeah, well, they gave yeah. me like a slice of cake. It was nice. cool. Middle aged women, super nice. Oh, yeah. They know what you went to bed. I mean, let me, wait, let me rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stream so much over there. I'm going to stream in Resident Evil 2, the last part of Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, Tama, Fire oh, Memorial, I mean, Fire Memorial, Cover, Eskimo Versus. Actually, no, I didn't think about it. Sentinel and Cover, Eskimo Versus is pretty similar to Warriors. They're both Dynasty Warrior games, and they both are really long. Cause I keep getting people asking me like, yo bro, how are you playing that game again? I'm like, again? I didn't even stop playing it from the first time. Bro. I just realized it was... When I play Fire Emblem 6 again, I'm like, bro, how many times <laughs> can you play the same Fire Emblem game? It's, it's called Reef. It's so good, right? It's called, also I think this is a shitty armor knife the first time I'm trying to make it work. Oh my god, it's the best character in the game. Stop to traces me. Bruh. Damn, these animations, bro. I'm feeling that. I felt that. You felt that? How many rounds are Swiss? <laughs> How many engines were there? Like eight? Ten. Ten? Oh, shit. That's a number. Let me tell you. Everybody's getting slower. <laughs> Oh yeah, the weather sucks here. I actually did not know it was going to rain like this. You don't know how many singles we had to take out to put into the mirror, only for it to be like that thing because they were talking. Oh my god. Like if you did like, just get like super soggy, you'd be like, accidentally, you had to attack it before it. It was a trial and error. Go in there. Walk outside with your phone real quick, turn on the stream, and see if you can find out where you stream. I didn't know. I didn't know. Just the voice audio coming in. It was an out, man. But like, if you can figure out like if it's coming from like here, like over there, in there. You also see it. You got mics. You play both ones. He used to be good at Pokemon, but then I
real fan of fighting against uh, water or rain, but, you know, he's been playing that single format for a while. As a person who's new to singles, I can tell you, it's a little difficult. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to have a lot of patience to be able to get through these battles. And uh, looking like a good start with the Rotom pick for Zaxel, and Salad Dressing, you know, a bit more of an obvious pick with the... Ah, uh, he's got the trick. <laughs> that means that he's giving him a choice, Scar. Interesting. Alright, so this just in. After the top cut of Pokemon, we're going to be doing a dollar Smash Bros. bracket. Epic. Wow. <laughs> Now, if this was Smash Bros. like Melee, I would put my dollar in. Mm. Unfortunately, I have not played one since Melee. So really, okay. Yeah, you got a switch. You might as well try it. All right, uh, Zaxel taking his time. <laughs> Who's gonna be using Lindsay? The Darmanitan. That's an interesting name. It's interesting how that was a safe switch against the Ferrothorn, just because he gave it the Choice Scarf. Any other day of the week, I would be very confused to see somebody going Darmanitan against the Ferrothorn. Yeah. Looking <laughs> like an early Dynamax is going to be coming their way. One of the things that I have noticed in this game, the person who D-Max is first, it's a little rough, because we already yeah. know what's coming. You can wait out three turns, especially if you have a stall If you have a stall Pokemon or a wall. I'd say it really depends on your party's ability to deal with the Dynamax threat after you've already initiated yours. If you're going to plan to use it first, uh, usually people that do that have more Pokemon in the back that are like capable of dealing with the other threats should they get the Dynamax off. And that is a lot of damage. Geyser, he doesn't want that Darmanitan on the field. Off and it's goes. gone. <laughs> and the rain coming up for that swift swimming size Matoad. I always wondered why water isn't super effective against ice. Water literally melts ice. Yeah, uh -huh. no, ice, ice freezes water. You know, I, I do think it's cool that there are moves like Freeze Dry that are super effective against water types. Yeah. Um, Scald should definitely be like a super effective against ice types. Against ice for types. Because sure, it melts the ice. But we got Hydreigon, one of my favorite dragons. Question is. Dragon reminds me of King Ghidorah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? The question is, is he gonna is it like gonna be a double switch or is he gonna have enough faith in it to knock it out? Cause it can hit hard, but Seismitoad is bulky. I don't know if this High Dragon's ready for the max knuckle that's about to come its way. You know. Seismitoda is faster in the rain, I believe. Dynamax I didn't the stab, you know? I didn't see if the High Dragon had uh no I was gonna say I didn't see if it had the choice scarf. Ooh. So if it had the choice scarf, that's a bulky boy that yeah, not even half the damage. Max and with the life orb. Dang, okay, oh. hanging on. Oh, oh, oh. Hanging on. Okay. By a sliver hanging on. Seismitoad gonna be getting its Final hit in there. It's good news. Unless they want to go. Once. Is he gonna mm. switch out with one turn left in the Dynamax? You know, I really like that play, honestly, because they have the Life Orb. So, oh my God, this is so fun. <laughs> I love yeah. Pokemon. Both players are are reading so hard into each other, they have no idea what's coming the other way. Yep. <laughs> They're just like. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. We can see what's happening, oh, but unfortunately. Oh, so funny. <laughs> if the if he does if he does switch out, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh. 
Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he could have the, the, the salt move. on on Salad Dressing's face right now. <laughs> well, we can't see his face, but I know. He's definitely SMHing. SMH my head, bro. Yep. <laughs> Fail. Failure. How does the Pokemon Stadium guy say it? He goes, oh, the move failed. <laughs> I miss that guy. <laughs> a lot of people, like, a lot of people hated the commentary dude. Been in this game. Seriously. But the reason they don't do that is because, you know, they need people like us for when we stream on the internet. But Focus Blast coming. It didn't miss. Oh, I've been, I've been playing Pokemon since Gen 1. I have hit maybe seven. Focus <laughs> blast, maybe seven. <laughs> like, that is hilarious. I, you want to talk about moves? I hate. Focus blast is second on that list. Uh, yeah, I try to stay away from it too. First is hurricane. And here is the meta defining Dracovic. Dracovish literally has been shaping the meta. That Pokemon is awesome. It doesn't even have arms. <laughs> and it's such a power. It has one. There's two things it can do. Bite and Ficious Rent. And swing its head around and it will, like a maniac. And it will yeah. literally end whoever is in front of it. Speak of the devil. Look at how much damage that did. And that's a not a very effective hit. Still taking a good chunk, uh, a good chunk of damage off of the Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs nonsense. It's nice to see that that's still around. Is it? It is. I was saying earlier, I'm surprised to see they still allow this Pokemon in the game. <laughs> yeah, with the amount of Pokemon that they got rid of, the fact that this snuck through. Yeah. But then again, when you look at the Galar region, there weren't that many grass types in the game. So they needed something. I mean, I love Shift Tree as much as the next yeah. person, <laughs> but it's not gonna, it's not gonna pop up on anybody's team. That is gonna be a focus Sash Galvantula. Yep. It's gonna get those sticky webs off for the rest of the team. Oh no! He has oh, thunder! Ready thunder. For it? He's got to have compound eyes because okay. any other day that would have super missed, Ooh. and it's still maybe not enough. Maybe he's got a sucker punch ready. Hopefully. But perhaps, perhaps Axel's ready for that. Good Pokemon to have on a rain team as well. I will say, my new favorite electric type is definitely Toxtricity. Okay, wow. I, I was expecting a Sucker Punch off the Galantula. Yeah. That's why I said, if he has it, because a lot of people don't like running the dark move anymore, because I feel like dark types have been nerfed so much this gen like with the with the amount of fairies that they put in the game it's like what's the point of having a dark type move and we have Rotom Wash which is poison oh the Pelter's name is Pico that's cute <laughs> oh yeah, that is a throwback to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. No, no, Ruby Sapphire. A Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> Silly. What was his name? Mr. Brine. Mr. Briny. Mr. Briny. Briny, bro. All right. There goes the threat on the Volt Switch too. So he gets a nice. But look at clean. how many it took out on the way out. <laughs> yeah, that was half the team sitting in the bench. You don't have a Pokemon with Storm Drain. Cleety. What does that mean? <laughs> That's a great <laughs> question. Every other name makes sense. Quack, quack. Bertha. Always <laughs> gotta have a chunky Pokemon Bertha. named Bertha. <laughs> Nicknames are so silly. Oh my oh, god. Are you saying Hippopotas looks like a... 
Hapowdon looks like a, a Bertha is what we're saying here. Hey, every Kangaskhan I ever had was named Mama Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like it fit, you know? Kangaskhan, is a, there's a lot of normal types that didn't make it to the Galar region. Normal types are kind of boring in my opinion. They're just so plain. They're normal. They are, but there are some of them that were a lot of fun. Like, Ambipom could have been in the game. Okay, I agree with that. Apom's actually my favorite Pokemon. You ever, know, I'm so telling you. I'm with you there. You know how hard it is to do Fake Out Last Resort now without my Ambipom? <laughs> Cleety. That's a good chunk. I like Ferrothorn with Toxic, Spikes, and Leaf Sheep. Most people will have a Gyro Ball on there, because Ferrothorn's very slow. Yeah. I like that. The Toxic is a very, like, haha, get out of my face. With the amount of Ferrothorns that are in the meta, I'm surprised no one's using Salazzle. Salazzle can either poison it or just burn it out. And I don't see anybody using it. I think Salazzle having the four times ground weakness kind of scares people. The presence of Psychic and Water, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of rough to make it work. Ooh, Hawthorne. And, and goodbye, Thorathorne. All right, so are they both down to, oh, to three left? Yeah, but Salad Dressing has more of the HP and I think a little bit more of an edge just being able to um, switch in and kind of, you know, control the pace that way. <laughs> he caught it in a net ball. And also not to mention there is status on one of Zach's Pokemon, which definitely does not help. You know, the Rotom being at such low HP with the poison, no boy no. And the fact that it doesn't have that much to get its HP back. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything to go into either, because McSpinspin can't really eat any water. Uh, nope. Drip, even in the rain, taking a liquidation to the face, is dead. And then Cleety has the weakness to fighting, but a good choice to stay in. Oh, I guess nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dreadnought, maybe a little, but it life is mighty. Orb. Yeah, that life orb too. Add an insult to injury. See here, if he had pain split, this would make sense. Maybe. I don't know. Because I feel that. like I feel like Zaxel doesn't play that that foo foo lame nonsense. I definitely don't see it. Because having set. the will o wisp, I mean, it's nice, but at some point you gotta get that HP back. Yeah, but this is where making it into the top cut is important. You get to see some good levels of play, and they are going to get into a game two, even with that very, very uh, convincing lead from Salad Dressing. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we're going to see the end of this battle, because I wouldn't want to give him too much more info. Good game. Zaxel choosing to end it early. Noise, noise. And now we go to game two. They are also team locked for the uh, for the rest of this, so that is some cool stuff. Ryan. Ryan. gave me the okay to switch teams. Oh. Salad gave me the okay to switch teams. Salad and Zaxel are gentlemen to let Zaxel counterpick with a different team. Uh -huh. Zaxel, uh, Zaxel's opponents got some confidence letting him switch. Much respect to Salad Dressing. Salad won 3-1. Salad three won. Won. Dude, <laughs> honestly, with the team that he has, that makes sense to me. It's very, very, you know. Ah. Uh.
All right, so let's see the team that he switched to. Looks like we got a Crawdaunt. We got a Gardevoir. Grim Snarl. Sign me up to middle. That is the Galarian Corsola and the Galarian Darmanitan. Interesting team to switch into knowing that Corsola? your has... Oh, Zaxel with the 69 number. What a guy. Not just 69, he was 069. It's always fun to see the numbers that your uh, that your opponents pick. <laughs> In my feels. <laughs> he just looks so sad. Corsola is sad. It's dead. You know what's funny about this game with Corsola being in it and being a ghost type? In Gen 7, the, the canon was that Mayrini and Toxapex ate Corsola. Yeah, they hunted them. Yeah. To and near extinction. That's why in SOS battles, when you see a Corsola, Mayrini can show up. <laughs> and it's, then. It's trying to eat the Corsola. Then a game later, Corsola's it's dead. dead. <laughs> Toxapex is still here. Yeah. <laughs> but. Nice so we got knockoff. So it no longer has the Evie light. So it no longer has those monstrous defense. Honestly, Pelipper with knockoff is nuts. Oh, and it looks like we saw a team switch. Another rain team is being used by Salad Dressing. It looks like I see a Crawdon now on his side. I don't know if he had that. Oh uh, no, I think before. that is on. Uh, I think that's Zaxel. He's the one doing the switching. Salad no, dressing. there was a Crawdon for salad dressing too, I think. Unless my eyes deceive me. I saw it on the U-turn briefly. Hmm. Dude, Zaxel seeming at a loss for what to do right now. I don't think he was ready for the knockoff. Nope. Very well kept secret from salad dressing right there. U-turn not doing anything. Yeah, he did switch out. He didn't have the crowd on last game. And... Imagine being dead and then turning around and seeing Dracovish. That was actually a very beautiful, very beautiful choice by Zaxel. He even yep. came out here and popped off off that choice. <laughs> yep. He goes, yes, I got the read. willow wisping one of the nastiest physical threats that could be coming out this early in the game. Perhaps preventing a sweep, but I don't know. Dracovish is is strong. It's, it's still a beast, <laughs> but after that burn, we got to see how much of a beast it is. Gang Goblin, baby. He is going into... <laughs> oh, man. It's like Let's the Green Goblin from Into the Spider-Verse, right? It still does hella damage. In the rain, I'm not surprised. Same type attack bonus. Water is up. You know, I think he... he might not have thought that one through as much as he should have. Unless Prankster... Yeah, I don't know. There you go! Prankster screen. Let's see, see how much... Is it enough? Uh, it's yep. not. Does he have recovery up his sleeve? That'd be some nonsense. He does not. But he, he does... Is, he's gonna uh, let the goblin go down for the double screen. I like the play. Fisher's Rend has 8 PP, correct? 10? <laughs> to Corvanite or not to Corvanite, apparently. <laughs> He's thinking. Ooh, my lady. My lady. Yo, the Moonblast might be smart against this Dragon type. You got the choice specs. You have the double screens. You might want to think about my lady. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. I wonder why. Maybe he's Does really he want to put up the rocks. Maybe he's just feeling pretty stubborn after the the fact that his Evie Light got knocked off, and he wants to utilize Cursula in a situation it does where it has he knows it will doesn't live. It? Uh, Curse Body, I believe. 
If it yes. has Curse Body and he uses Fisher's Ren, if he can get that off of him and get him to switch out, that might be what he's thinking. And I think Salad Dressing thinks that's what he's thinking too, because he's about to switch. Into Captain Ginyu. Dang. Nice players DBZ really shot. do take their time in between turns, which really does cut down that 20 minute timer that they have to work against. Craziness. Yeah, when I was playing, I got in my last match, I looked up out of nowhere and saw that there was only three minutes left. I was like, oh yeah, there's a timer. <laughs> if he's gonna do the switch, he better do it now. Because if Stealth Rocks are on the field... Oh, he's gonna burn... A special attack. Unless this just kills Corsula. Not under light nope. screen. But the cursed body! Epic. And he's got the light screen. Another burn! Although he can't reset the screens up, he did let Grim Grimmsnarl get KO'd. Yep. So... Interesting dynamic to the fight there. I think he just wants to get as much status down as possible. Now he goes into my lady. Better late than never. Which technically doesn't sound right when said out loud. Oh my god, no! Don't say- Oh my god! <laughs> but, that's neither here nor there, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody get this man. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Jesus. The rain has stopped, so the swift swim is off. Oh, oh, he'd be so sick if he read the moon blast. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? Yeah, that was smart to be like, hey, what does he have that could come in before I shoot this off? He's thinking about. I would. Oh, he's, he's going, doing the mystic he's, fire just in case going he brings for a in. Ferrothorn weed. Yep. Oh my god. And instead. That's, oh, why are you going for such a hard weed? I mean, <laughs> this is overthinking at its best. Oh, is that now so he's like, no! Go for the but that did blast. a lot of damage. But now he's oh, that into it. Oh, that actually is good. Yeah, because he got the, the special that defense. That was I mean, special attack drop. very good RNG. Okay. I guess and the burn. Can he knock him out? Ah, oh, he lives on seven. That's a smart move because, as I found out, if you Dynamax, choice moves, I mean, the choice items don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Like Ash Ketchum winning with a not very effective move. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ash finally won one, all right? It took yeah. him 20 something yeah, years. Yeah, we'll give it to him. And he's still 10. Yeah, good, <laughs> good job, Ash. You won with a Rowlet. I'm so impressed as a 22 year old. Yep. <laughs> Watching this happen. <laughs> I didn't even watch it. I just saw the internet go nuts. I have long since given up on Ash. I'm surprised there isn't a Gigantamax uh, Gardevoir. But I guess she got a Mega, so... Yeah, yeah. I do kind of like that lots of Pokemon that don't have Megas are Pokemon that got a Gigantamax. Oh, the Psychic Fang is going to be breaking the screens. Very good choice. Oh, I guess... You know, I didn't know that that could do that. Yeah, that you learn something new every day. But that's why it's smart to let your screen setter be uh, Grimstarl, because that's a dark type. So psychic things can't work against them. And other pranksters can't prankster it because he's dark. Now, I'm going to have to ask Salad Dressing, why Larry for Crawdog? Larry the Lobster? Spongebob? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those people that's honestly never seen an episode of Spongebob. Oh! Never. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's... I've seen the memes. Okay. But <laughs> so you're just really old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because by the time SpongeBob was popular, I was either leaving high school or it was my second year of college. So I wasn't watching. Now would be the time to go for the Max Flare. There you go. I don't know if he heard me, but hey. I want to see what the Pokedex entries for the, Gig for the Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon are. Because if you read the ones about the Mega Pokemon, those were hella dark. For, uh, for Gengar, I know it's something like, once you're in its mouth, you're never getting out. Like, you're dead, basically. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, it's, it's body, like, takes people to another dimension, never to be seen again. Okay. That sounds unpleasant. Very scary. would love to have one of those. Wait, is everything on this max... So he only has all right, because he only has one attacking move. <laughs> so he only has one Dynamax move. So he literally just Dynamax for nothing. Incredible. Them's the plays, ladies and gentlemen. Them's the plays. I guess he was trying to bait the fire move out, mm. which I get. You know, use the uh, use the three turns up. Wash the Dynamax. You don't get to use your own, but it's at but the cost of them not being able them to use theirs. Not being able to KO. Then we kind of reset the pace of the match and give your crowd on a chance to open them up, or even switch out and just kind of restart from the game. So we got Hawthorne, Bertha, Larry, and Pico that are still on Salad Dressing's side. Very intriguing use of the Dynamax feature right there. It was more defensive than offensive. Many switches coming out. It is the Nintendo Switch that we're playing on. But I'm bum. So this is to be expected. Nightshade is such an interesting move to have on it. I mean, it's fixed damage, so you're always going to do 50. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Maybe it was supposed to be Hex, and he just misplayed that. Which is also very intriguing. Did he just go into... Wait. What did Zexo pick? I think he picked Will-O-Wisp. Did he get the read again? <laughs> He's good. You don't want to go Ferrothorn, do you? You don't want to do it. I mean, if he goes Ferrothorn, screw. Which he's about to do. Oh, Axel <laughs> got the read. Is he going to pop off again? I'm waiting for that door to bust I open. was about to say, you might want to take oh. a step back. <laughs> He is so I oh. missed. Oh, because he put the. Technically, that's his fault. Because he forgot wow. that he used Max his Starfall. Gardevoir working against him <laughs> on the very turn. That is amazing. Zaxel's mad. <laughs> he is that so is, mad. That is amazing. Epic. Epic gamer moment. The game giveth. The game taketh away. Strength Sap, which is one of the best moves in the game. Oh? Wow. You get your HP back, and depending on how much they have in their attack stat, you can cake off. So, Corsola is still kind of putting the work in, but I don't know if Zaxel was ready to get hit by that Toxic. Was the trade-off worth it? I think Zaxxel was really expecting another switch because of the presence of his Will-O-Wisp. Yep. 
he expected that to be a bigger threat than it actually ended up being. Now he's the one who's feeling like he's got a slip, which you never want to be in that situation against Ferrothorn. Especially if you don't have fire or special ground to take it out. He does have fire, but in the rain, dude. Also a risky switch going Gardevoir against a steel type, but I think he's aware of the fact that the he doesn't have Ferrothorn doesn't have a steel move. <laughs> nice. Technically, Gardevoir does have an iron barb. She literally has a blade coming out of her chest. Because oh Ferrothorn stays in, thinks it's safe from the rain. Probably is. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question is, is Zexo going to overthink it and switch out? I mean, he could. He is up a whole Pokemon, so he doesn't want to lose that lead. The swapping might be the move. Yeah, yeah. All right. And if this move connects, Cursed Body can affect and stop it. That would destroy the whole Cursed Body. Does he get the Cursed Body? Ooh. Nope. Well, he figured the uh, Ferrothorn stayed in, so he got the another power whip. Maybe get the cursed body from this. Oh no! Another layer of spikes. He's like you're poison. I'm pretty sure that's two layers of spikes. You're poison. I'ma just let it take care of you. Smart move. Corviknight's a flying type, so Spikes is not effective. Wow. Avoiding the Leaf Seed is the luckiest thing that could have happened. Yep. Love watching these leftovers. But the question through. is, what does Corviknight do against a steel grass type? Body press. Bulk up body press. I'm surprised he doesn't have power trick then. Because huh. it does get it early on, and power trick after a bulk up. See, now you would think that that was for us. <laughs> about to say, who Whoa, is that hype over a leech seed? seed. Whoa. I can't believe he got it! Wow! Well, the last one did miss. Three minutes left, and it's fu it's fudging. <laughs> Five to four right now. <laughs> Listen, it's like the one thing I always will say one. about doubles, it definitely goes a wee bit faster. Yeah. But sometimes the match is over on turn one because of the lead, you know? Yep. Singles, you have a lot more switch play. Bird fight. So we're in Manhattan? <laughs> Pigeons fight in Manhattan all the time. Oh, bulking up again? My god. Oh, he wants to knock him all the way out. Interesting. Two minutes. And the beach seat's still up. Okay. Gonna help out Pelper for a little bit. Bravo Bard! Yeah, I heard last week a lot of doubles matches actually went down to PowerPoint, like, stalling. To a point where it just annoyed everybody, and they would rather do this for that today. Yep. Oh, not dead? Wow. Hello? Is this going to be a tie ball game now? Is oh, this going to be a bird? Not quite. Not quite. Ah. I'm really hoping for it, I bet. And with one minute left, ooh, getting down to that, that final time. 
Bart switching to Pearl Thorn. This could be game changing. If they're going for a bird bird. Oh my. What is this gonna mean for the match? Oh, oh. Iron Barb. Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. No. Yes! Oh. oh, it's the recoil, not the Rocky Helmet. Okay. I don't know. I think Zaxel might have this one due to the burn and just the HP difference. Oh, but the poison. Oh, it might be. That might tell a different story right there. Yeah. Ooh, this is crazy. Okay. The salad dressing going to let this go to time. What's going to happen? Are the stones going to make a difference? Oh, wow. This is... We're just going to see what's going to happen now. Two, four to four with one. two statuses. I think that salad dressing might win due to the amount of damage. No. No, he's got a lot less HP. Very interesting. That zero is just sitting there like... <laughs> See, the only thing is, if what that power that? whip misses, he loses. No, that's it. Salad dressing loss. Wow. All right. Epic. So the all-important game three. That was rough to commentate. <laughs> yes. But fun. Yeah. So looking like that team worked out for him. Yeah. After they allowed him to switch. <laughs> he gave him the momentum, but the question is, now is he going to get it back? Mm-hmm. I know this means nothing, but I feel like the best background music is Marnie's remix. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like a better track, you know? Mm -hmm. good. That one I and like Into the, the Fog. Tower. I like the Battle Tower theme personally. They're doing the Gym Leader theme for some reason. Well, it is what it is. The Gym Leader theme is hype. Because is. every gym battle I went into during the story, I was like, alright! We're gonna get this. <laughs> Which game did you get? Did you get sword or shield? I'm playing shield. I do have sword though where I'm playing like a Nuzlocke run right now. I feel oh. like so many more people got shield than sword. Really? Oh. Mainly because Zacian kind of looks stupid with the sword in his mouth. I don't want to be that guy. I try not to be judgmental but uh... The Behemoth Slash looks cool because it looks like, you know, Spirit Saber slicing something, but I don't know. Zamazenta's got a, it's got a lot of fans. Looks like there was a small problem with uh, one of the opponents picking three instead of a full six. So do not pay attention to anything that you see on the screen right now. So we can take the time to show, you know, every Friday night. Come on down to Encore. Play some Pokemon. We also have Yu-Gi-Oh! going on on Wednesdays and Sundays. When do we play Smash here? Thursday nights. Thursday night Smash? Mm hmm Come on down to Smash Town.
Up, they're switching the song up to Hop Number Two. I don't think I've ever heard Hop Number Two, to be honest with you. Or is that the battle when he gets whatever the other legendary is? Now they can pick six. Salad is deciding on whether or not he wants to start out with Pika or if he wants to go in another direction. I thought you said Pika. I was like, wait, Pikachu? I wasn't looking at the screen. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who comes here yeah. with Pikachu. You know what's interesting? For VGC, they made it so that Pikachu, Eevee, and Meowth, all their Gigantamax forms are legal. So it makes me wonder, the fact that they highlight that that's even allowed, does it mean that they're saying they're good? It scares me to think about. You know, no one wants to lose to an Eevee or a Pika. <laughs> I mean, let's look at their Gigantamax moves. One of them gives you money. Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't picture somebody going, you that'd know, be, you be know what I need for, on my team. That'd be epic for battling. <laughs> Just confuse everybody with the amount of. It also that falls it actually causes floor. confusion, so it's actually pretty crazy that move. But anyway, I, I love how when they came up with the Gigantamax for Eevee, they were like, "Turn his fluff upside down. No <laughs> one will notice." We noticed. Nintendo. You think Grimstone is really based off the Spider Verse Grim, um, Green Goblin? <laughs> it looks just like him. It could be. <laughs> I could see that going down. Every once in a while, Nintendo, Game Freak, Konami, they like trolling each other. The views of the Smash players shouting out random cuss words are theirs and theirs alone. Has nothing to do with this stream. But I can understand. Smash games get pretty heated. Mm -hmm. Dang, there's a lot of waiting. <laughs> Bringing in Bertha. <laughs> I gotta say, this is... <laughs> I really... I, I can't wait for VGC whenever we do that next. Because this yeah. is... Uh, It'll be so a lot easier to this commentate. This is just slow as heck. It'll definitely be a lot easier to commentate. Of course, hopefully, when they bring VGC here, you and I won't be comp won't be <laughs> doing it because you know we'll be in the semifinals and the finals instead of mm -hmm. here commentating. Oh, that foul play was good off the sword stance. Nice Jeez. prediction. Very, very well done, Zaxel. Turning things around. Man, making Grimstar look awesome right now. <laughs> I wonder if it's the Gigantamax Grimstar. I think if Salad Dressing had a Steel type move on his Ferrothorn, it would be a much bigger threat to this team. Yep. That Zaxel has, but that's really hurting him to not have it. Now he's over anticipating a switch. Going into a dragon type versus a fairy type, I don't know if I agree with that choice. The taunt. Okay, I actually. That can, makes uh, sense because I can know appreciate he's that. And now a vicious be. rend in the rain, he gets a much safer. Uh, but he does option. have to reflect up, so it's True. still going to do damage, but it's not going to be the KO that it would normally be. True. And that foul play. Not going to do too much. Now he's thinking. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this with my Grim Snarl intact? Not much he can do, really. I think he's got to kind of. He's got to sack it off. Yeah, got to kind of let him eat it. He shook off the taunt. And the reflection. Is that what down. it says now? Instead of the taunt wore off, <laughs> he shook off the taunt? Yeah, he's taunted, you know? He shook.
Now, I didn't see if this is Zen mode or Gorilla Tactics. Because if this is Zen mode, that's going to be interesting. Oh. Gigantic fossil! Big fish. He looks like an angry shrimp. <laughs> when I train my Dracovish, I know what I'm naming mine. Oh wow, that was oh. some damage. Geyser's probably gonna take it down. And he's gone. Wow, he named his Darmanitan Smiley Face, but I don't think he's too happy about that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Now, what do we do? We go in to Gang Crab. Oh, he's switching into My Lady. Still on. I think he did that on purpose because he knew he'd be on stream. And decided that that's the name I'm going with. <laughs> Let's make it weird. Maybe he just is in love with Gardevoir, unironically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he goes to those <laughs> subreddits. I think it's good that they decided to differentiate because back in the day when you could have a male Gardevoir, it was a little awkward. Nah. Male Gardevoir can wear a dress, can live its life. I don't feed into that stereotype nonsense. I don't give a crap about the Pokemon's gender. It's 2019, baby. Speaking of which. I think it'd be fun to see an attract team. I was just thinking that today. I was literally like, why does everybody want their Pokemon to be male? Oh, you know what I should do? Yeah, like, a female Gyarados with attract. Intimidate and attract. <laughs> you're attracted to them because you're intimidated. He's <laughs> like, I'm stri <laughs> it's like, I'm attracted to you. But or a, prank a prankster Grimstar would be really funny with attract and thunder wave together. Yep. You know, get some of those old Klefki strategies in there. You know? See, there's an idea for doubles. Double prankster. Mm. Have flatter on one. <laughs> and with, what is it? Swagger on the other? Oh my. It's like you love me because I got swag. Why well, I'm flattered. These are the puns you get here at Encore Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. And now, my lady's big. Oh yeah. Did he think he was gonna switch? I don't know what he was thinking. He had to have thought he was gonna switch into uh into Ferrothorn. He did that in the rain too. Ain't raining no more. Or maybe he just wanted the rain gone. Maybe that's what he was thinking. You know? Them is the plays. Who knows? That actually was really smart to do the fire, because maybe he wasn't predicting the Ferrothorn, but just the weather, the weather wars, the are weather be change fun. was very huge. Because if you think about it, and he can just do it again by switching back into Pelipper. Everyone can have Weather Ball now, so watching the weather wars is going to be really interesting, especially with most of the of the Dynamax moves making some type of weather happen. To the fire! Is that, uh, is the Gardevoir done now? Is that three turns? I believe so. No? Nope, one turn one left. More. So the Weather War is changing like that twice is really interesting. That would have been cooler if it were on the third turn. Because then he could, Zaxxel would then be able to swap out a little bit more comfortably. 
They're just kind of forced to swap again. But that's okay on the third turn, I think. It's powered up a little by the sun. It's going to do a little bit more of some damage. Not enough, though. He's going to do the same strat right there. And he'll win the weather war overall by going back into Pelipper. Getting that rain back. No more Dynamax. Epic gamer moment. Alright. Oh, Zach's looking to go for the moon blast, maybe. Is he smart? Or is he going to switch? Just kills the Pelipper. Yeah, I would oh, say shoot the Pelipper. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. He saw it coming. But he's going to have to deal with two Swift Swimmers. This is the first time I've seen Moonblast this gen. It's you've very seen, You've ever seen the animation? Yeah, it's no. Like, it's like a pink Shadow Ball. Yeah. Pretty. Shadow Ball looks pretty cool, too, now that it goes from Little Ball, Big Ball, Death. Yeah. I like the color scheme on it, like the little hint of red. Ludi Loco is what I like to name him. <laughs> also, I hate Ludicolo. Why? Because in Gen 4, I would never, like, run weather. And every time someone did, Ludicolo was there. <laughs> So you got the fake out, you got the hydro He's pump, still you got doing the ice stuff feed, today. Yep. And that, that silly little two-step. <laughs> He's happy to be here. So I understand how broken he is. I get it. I respect the little piece of cabbage. But I hate him. <laughs> He's a pineapple. He looks more like cabbage to me, He's but I can see the pineapple. pineapple. Look at him. <laughs> <sighs> now what do you do? Because if you bring in Gang Crab, pretty sure he has Energy Ball. I didn't look to see if he had it, but like they all have Energy Ball. If you bring in Malady, well, oh, we're bringing in the crab. Three, three, two. Wow. Just the thing you want to see in a best of three. See, I was right. It's got energy ball. He didn't pick it though. Oh, maybe it's a choice scarf. Maybe Ooh. that's the deal. But oh my god! You know the sentence said not very effective, but from my eye my line of eyesight, I mean that looks pretty damn effective. Maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not because he does have a he has no he has a Draco Vish on the team, so I don't think he has two choice scarfs. But that was interesting. That that killed. Wow. Well, Zaxel's probably guess very. Guess it's up to Malady. Yeah, he's probably very sad about that. All right, gonna be going into the Corviknight. It's amazing that this is like the regional bird, but it is the best flying type. It's really cool. Ooh, double switch. Are we over predicted? Are we under predicted? Oh, okay. His pineapple has choice specs, not scarf. That's why it hits so damn hard. Yeah. <laughs> now this Gardevoir is dead. Unless it misses. Oh. We got the miss. Orangey. And he doesn't have a PP up on the Hydro Pump. He's only got five of them. Oh, that. Orangey. That's what the little kids call. Orangey. So what does he do? Oh, he's thinking about it. I think it's smart of him to switch. I mean, he's kind of got no choice. He's going to struggle if he doesn't. And I don't think struggle is special. Good choice. Going into the Bang! thorn. So that's our was awesome.
Now he's got to switch out because, you know, can't necessarily uh, keep going. With yeah, the rain really, really messes up the fire moves against the Ferrothorn. It's honestly so powerful. I think Zaxel's maybe going to have to look into getting a weather team of his own to be able to counter play like this because it is just so dominant. Yep. I mean, he kind of has it, like weather control with the the max fire, but how yeah, many that's, times that's, can you do yeah, that? Yeah, no, know? that's that's I you have make. to bring a move. It's not something to rely on. It was a good counter in the moment. Like I liked where he was thinking, but salad dressing was just countering it so much better. If he likes turtles. My homie Torkoal does have drought. It also sucks against water types. But. I feel like rain always kind of wins the weather war. Because if you bring in a sandstorm team, if I have a rain team. Yeah. I can knock you out. <laughs> Same thing with a sunny day team. Yeah. The only thing that's kind of on on the level would be hail. Yeah, no, water historically has always been the best weather. Definitely. Because while hail does deal damage, not too many good ice types. Darmanitan is uh, it's creeping up the ladder, but I can't see anybody knocking down Bear Tick's door. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. The steel stall is real, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ooh. Not to be a downer, but apparently there was a shootout in White Plains earlier today. Hope everybody's okay. with the switches. Back into my lady. see what's going on. So, watch that. Alright. Energy ball into Ferrothorn. So, but... It's dead. Yeah, no, power, the only thing that would have saved that would be power would be missing. <laughs> power rip counts as a physical move like that? I would, yep. I would think, you know, whipped her over a distance, but alright. Makes sense. Oh, I don't even use that. I was going to say Twitch, but I don't know if that was across the line. Does anyone still that use works. Twitter for anything other than news? Uh, I use it for memes. 
Memes and celebrity beef, man. Memes and celebrity beef. I don't... Yeah, oh. um, all, all my best Alpha Rad jokes and stuff come from that. It's, I'm not gonna lie. It's either Twitter or Twitch. Really? Yeah. I haven't been on Twitter in forever. I just started using it. And it looks like we are winding down, ladies and gentlemen. We got yep. a minute left. I don't know if Salad doesn't is really the kind of guy to just put down the controller and say, okay. But Zach only won a game when I could have ended for him, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Animations take up too much damn time, but Lids. and connection ends. So, up oh, Zexel has conceded the match. Do the time So out. salad, yeah. salad dressing wins. Whew. So, I respect the uh, the Marnie Marnie border and the Marnie theme. As much as I'm a basic boy for like the gym battle theme, Marty 2 is where it's at now. So let's just all unite under the banner of this Marty. Or otherwise known as Team Yellow, I guess. So we set Rain. So he's got Swift Swim on his Gracovish, if I'm correct. I'm good. Oh right, it's sand force. Like it's some, it's it's some like weather boost thing, and yeah. I don't know who put that shit in sand. But okay. Yeah, I actually brought it up with someone today. It was uh, it was actually it's not out yet, but it's uh, sand rush. Weirdly enough. Oh yeah. I guess I guess uh, rain dance would be I'm absolutely disgusting. Disgusting with fish's rend. It would as long as he goes first. He'd still have to set tailwind or give it some kind of speed buff. Well, that's what that's what swift uh, swift swim would do. Yeah, pretty much. I see he's trying to go for the burn with the skull, though. I mean, it's a good idea. You can't double up on status, though. No. Um, oh, yeah, yeah okay. Because Pico has the poison, yeah, yeah. so I'm trying to burn uh, the ferret. Uh, the other ferret. If I could see the damn name. Uh, Hawthorn, which I like that name. Is this is this still two out of three? Yes. For the grand finals? Grand finals is two out of three. Yep. You stream in the dollar smash, or was it just chill as fuck? <laughs> Even if it's a dollar smash, I'm. It's Did the you first sign up for it yet? I yeah. Okay. I handed them both at these ones, but I haven't played here in an Oz tournament since like I started trading with a coach. Yeah, I got that list late of all the people that signed up. It's like it's. I think there's like 30 people signed up for it. Right. I mean, it's just dollars. It's fun. But I don't got anything else to do tomorrow. I just got a friend flying in, but that's about it. Is it gonna be like? Is it going to be like They're single elimination? I don't know. It's a good question. I haven't actually been involved in Dollar Smash fairly. We're going to be here until like 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, dude, this place is open until 3 uh, at business hours. They open late in the afternoon and then stay open late at night. So we bring in uh, Dragapult. Interesting. Interesting. What's he so going to do to a uh, Belinda the Dragapult. Ooh, deep cut to my special? life. Is this special? It could be so uh, Ooh. It is definitely special because that's the exact same set I run on mine. Ooh, I don't know if I just don't is gonna. Know. Here's what I I'm trying to figure out: is he choice or scarf? Uh, specs or scarf? Yeah, he's definitely yeah. something. He's definitely a choice item. I don't know if this will kill though in the in the rain. You know what? The huh? Salad is trying to tank it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. It's a special defensive thought. one. Okay, got it. I, I don't I don't even think it's that. I think it's just a combination of the rain. He did the same thing to mine in round one. I died in died a hit, essentially. Oh, okay. The only problem is I didn't see his um, Dragapult until way too late in the game. It, it wasn't the thing that saved. Killed so, me, but so it worked. You think it's a Scarf Dragapult, then? Maybe. It, I mean, I would need better movement. Is it running modest? You think it's modest it Scarf? Would be, it would be... 
Well, it depends. Or do you think it's timid with Scarf, but that's just like overkill? I'm the kind of guy who would overkill, but that's just me. Okay. Bertha. Big Bertha. Oh, wait. He's... He looks like he's cycling... Oh, wait. No. Oh, he's Life Orb. He's Life Orb. Oh, my God. I'm actually dumb. I forgot about that. Right. Because <laughs> he, he maxed, and I sat there, and I went, okay. Because I literally found out a couple rounds later from my friend. You're ma you're, you can set a choice, max, and it overwrites, and then whatever the last term you're maxing is becomes your new choice, if it's a different move. Yeah. So, he used two different things, and I'm like, okay, he's Dragon, he ended on Dragon, but now he's back to a different move, so, he, he's, no, yeah, he's life orbing it. It's not a female Pokemon. Just noticed. Oh, they both are. Someone likes breeding. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Bertha Ooh. going into a G-Max. Okay. Is it going to be its Gi Gi Gigantamax? Yeah. He, I mean, the move selection shows itself, so it's going for Stone Surge. That's, Ooh. Yeah. That's the only max move. This is water type, water type rocks. Water. Is that what Stone I Surge think, does? I think so. I killed Nessa too fast. <laughs> I think this sets up water type rocks. Define water type rocks. I think it's basically rocks with a water type. Oh, it sets rocks and continues rain. Okay. Or no, no, no. Uh, I think it's rock. I think it's a stealth rock that it, instead of doing rock typing, does water typing. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not pulling I, out my This is my first time seeing it. it. I'm not pulling out my phone to look that up. That's what people. That's what it says here. In fact. And Smiley brings out Brenda against this thing. I'm very used, honestly, but then again, Bertha doesn't have any actual ground moves. So, maybe it's a little safer than we thought. Oh, no. Taunt effects is as defensive as they are, better at special, Bertha. Um, they're, I think they have the same base for defense and special defense. Okay. I think it's both 160. Alright, now switch out Regenerator, Shenanigans, Recover, go. Or, that could just happen. And we are back from the neck because of Black Sludge. <laughs> and before Trick switches their items, right? Oh, he's going for Haze. That's interesting. Yeah, but it's a, yeah, that's what I thought. Rockfall would come out first, so Haze won't matter. No yeah. stats at the end of it. He's just sacking Brenda there. Pretty much. Well, I don't really know if they have choice in that. I know Smile. I'm pretty sure Smiley has an Excadrill. I don't know what its ability is. I th it is it mold? Oh, it's it is Sand Rush. Oh, that that's it, gonna come back to play him. That's <laughs> setting yeah. up Sand for him. Like I said in round one, respect on the pink and blue. He's got one more. Oh no, it's done. No, it's done. Sandstorm probably has about two turns. No, I mean with the Dynamax. I know. Yeah, Dynamax is down. Here we go. I want to know why, though. Here we go. <laughs> I want to know why. It doesn't really get that much stronger by being max. It's 30 extra points. Just hit it quick. Just be normal. Be, be human. <laughs> Alright, just do that. Am I about, are we about to see Asian see the fish? Or... I, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what his best move is here. I think it's... My... The closest thing I would guess would be Ginyu. Yeah. Because Ginyu's ground water, so mega basically. Whatever whatever it is, it's gonna take a massive hit and it's probably gonna get outsped. I don't know if he has anything scarfed or anything that'll outspeed this in sand. Either way, um, let's see how physically defensive this thing is. <laughs> We're about to find out. So I've learned a lot about Dynamax today besides the whole choice thing. I'm mad that items that do things back to them don't work on Dynamaxes. Iron Barbs included, even though it's an ability. Honestly, you know what would have been a smarter play? Switch out to uh, Pelipper. Yeah. That would have been the best you play. You would set the rain. And you would have ignored the uh, ground. Ignored yeah. the ground. Hindsight 2020. Hindsight 5000, 5000. <laughs> in fact, you gotta switch. That's, that's the play right there. In fact, he's probably saying to himself, why didn't I do that in the first place? Either way, he's poisoned. Damn, rock don't matter. Actually, you know what? Now, uh, yeah. 
He should set the rain now because... Would he outspeed? Maybe. Maybe, but he can't tank it either. That's the problem. He's losing it. Essentially. Yeah. Unless Smiley suddenly gets scared. Well, I doubt will happen. Now he's got to reset up. There's also reset a fact up that rocks. Yeah, but no, it's Sandstorm. Well, 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 I mean, like reset up uh, using his max yeah. rock ball, basically. Problem is the the fact that the attack will still happen either way will probably kill that thing. Yeah, I think the the only thing he can do right now is either sack sack Pico or switch to yeah. Ginyu. It'll and most Ginyu likely switch from to uh sand. In before it suddenly is revealed to be Gastrodon. <laughs> I love those frames that just dropped right there. It's my favorite part of the game. Yo, HD Pokemon, you gotta love it. Yeah, that was called X and Y, man. <laughs> oh, no, X and Y wasn't HD. It wasn't, I it was just 3D and that's all we needed at the time. Yeah. The stadium on mobile. <laughs> also, if anything, wouldn't Let's Go have better models and graphics than this? Um, actually, I don't think it had, I, I've seen a comparison between Machoke, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the agreement that they did, they did actually improve the models, but not by much. Yeah, they're all ported, but they are touched up. Yeah. Oh, alright, so in the midst of our ramblings, uh, Pico has returned, and is... He that, did it two turns later. That's the play. Two turns later. That should have been your first turn, but, you know... No. Oh, I get why. He sacked one. He sacked yep. one to get rid of the Dynamax. Yep. That's why he didn't do it right away. That would make more sense. My guy, there's an easy option here. Skull. Yeah. Skull. Skull. Or just switch. Maybe I'm just basic. Skull's honestly the best play right here. It's still faster? Okay. That works then. That makes sense. Oh, also... This exact thing happened? Oh. Uh, the underscore is in between the and Joey, not at the end of Joey. They've now... Anybody who's followed that has now followed all the wrong people. <laughs> I wonder if anyone even has that. Twitter? Um, yeah, th that specific tag. I don't know that. You know, not to plug myself, but you know. Someone... Someone has the Joey tag and, like, doesn't use Twitter. You mean Pokemon? No, no. His name is Joey. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> and we're withdrawing him. We've, we've seen both Dynamaxes, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Excadrill. Now it's almost like it's a regular Pokemon game. We're just missing all of the Pokedex. Yeah. Ooh. Bye, Bertha. And Bertha's dead because... Bye, Bertha. Wow, liquidation, man. Strong jaw. Yeah, is that its ability? Was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. I don't think so. Then again, there isn't an ability clause in single. Is there? No. He's got two switch moves. Yeah. I'm dumb. Ooh, I don't know if this is the play. I don't Go know if this is the play. Sentai. Go Goku Sentai. Go Goku Sentai. I I'm curious what what the thought process is here. He's trying to here. earth power the man. Ooh. Is Earth Power it's the play here? He had Focus Blast. It don't. Oh, okay. It don't matter. You it expected Ferrothorn to be faster. Yeah. Oh no. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I expected. I've never. Uh, I like that Seismitoad is relevant now, but like I know nothing about Seismitoad. Basically, he's from Gen Five, but like, from my he's been around for a long time. From my point of view, it was really just Gastrodon before I realized I could get one. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he's been thrust out of irrelevancy just because of Dexit. Who, Gastrodon? Uh, no. Uh, oh. Well, I mean Gastrodon, but also Seismitoad. Yeah. Like, random Pokemon you would never see is are now, like, good. He does have Focus Blast. Is, so does that make him a mixed Seismitoad? <laughs> yeah, wait, I don't know. No, see, he, had, he had Earth Power. He had also, Earth Power also Pokemon. had it here, but... Aren't Tyranitar's special defense is not the best? And uh, but in, anyway. in Sand, in Sand, it actually uh, boosts Rock-type special defense. Uh, okay. And Ginyu is down. It doesn't get a speed boost, though! That sound, man. That's a Godzilla roof when I hear it. 
Ooh, it actually is. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they ripped it. Who knows? I hope. I in hope before in before Nintendo comes in with the bandit. I hope whatever sequel they do for these for Gen Eight. I hope they include like new Pokemon and they do the other half of the fossil types. Thank you, Mr. Fish. <laughs> it's not shiny, but we'll take it. But then again, this is one of those Pokemon that you that you still legitimately have to stop these after shinies. Like there's no yeah. way around that. You you can't just do weird encounters and expect it to work. Because no trainers in the game have it. Yeah, and uh, also you can't breed them. You can't breed these abominations. Nope. <laughs> you have to legitimately soft reset your game. I I actually did try and breed them, and I was like, why aren't they making weird babies? Because even though yeah. in, even though in Gen 8 you can siphon attacks from your child back to the parent, yeah. like, I'll just eat my children and get that done. Yeah, I'm saying something weird. Uh, you could also just, you know, you can't travel back in time to your mating. And Pico is down, but there's no more way to set the sandstorm. So Does he have Ooh, put in put in Quack Quack. Put in Quack Quack, man. He's got no, he's got actually, Swift Swim. How much He's got Ten. that Swift Swim. Yeah, but at, Is he gonna outspeed this? There Is he gonna outspeed the extra drill? I don't think if he will. If he doesn't, it's bad. Because <laughs> even though, you know, Mr. Fish is pretty strong. He can do a lot of damage anyway. His vicious run still is stab and strong drive. Yeah, anyway. but he's got to live here. Oh, he does outspeed. Oh, okay. Dang, bro. So wait, is he scarfed? Maybe. Maybe that's why the switch ups came off. Old, 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 old. Hesitation, I guess. Ooh, this—that's GG. If he's scarfed, that's GG. On the off chance that they trick, <laughs> <laughs> but I think there is a chance they both have the same item. Oh yeah, he went down to think like he was thinking about it, so he's probably not choice. My guess, at least, I could be very, very incorrect and stupid. You can't switch. That's it. That's it. Dead it. Thank Gigi. you, Mister Fish. Now where's now where's Darmanitan coming from? Ooh, I've got that same pose. <laughs> Bet. Ooh, did I just get called? Oh, that's oh. Go for it. That's all right. Oh. Do you want me to, uh... I mean, I've smash started. Did you just give us... You said you gave us both a buy? I didn't hear, that's why. It really was. Until we figure out what's going on, you know? I thought I heard him say he's giving us a buy. Oh. Does that mean we suck oh, now I in the tournament standings? It's a d Oh, alright. I every tournament does their own double elimination rules, you know? Card game said nah, it's basically a loss. <laughs> Olgo and Ginyu. Remember how animations weren't supposed to take most of the fight? <laughs> Yo, they need to they need to speed up these animations. Remember when you could turn animations off in, in I basically have oh wait. Ooh, okay. Judge no <laughs> Get him out of here. That's uh DQ. It's not a DQ, it's just a game <laughs> loss, come on. Oh listen, round one, you know I did that by accident. <laughs> Because I forgot smog and rules because I haven't touched this this meta in three years. When when did Oras come out? Oras came out. Was that 2013, 2014? I think. 14, like 15. around 2014 was the last time I played smog and single competitively. 
I, I, mean, think, I think I dabbled in it once when Sun and Moon was around because a Ooh, friend of me needed help. Yeah, the, the last two generations have been pretty bad. Yeah, and I cannot wait. The EGC may be my specialty, but I walked in here and kind of just worked with what I had. Worth it. Gen 4 and Gen 5, that's where it was at. Or you singles. No, I disagree with Gen 5. Weather never ended. It was good in the beginning. It was there fun. wasn't a beginning, it was all unified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I had to pick between Gen 4 and Gen 5, I'm taking Gen 4 every single time. I just wish they had the team preview in Gen 4. So, I got a question for the one behind the computer. Uh, in your opinion, um, the, the pose that Mario had on his trainer card, is that a JoJo's reference? It Everything is a JoJo's reference. We already, we already knew. Thank you. We already knew that Pokemon is influenced by JoJo. Uh, the rival, the rival from from Sun and Moon has a JoJo pose. He does, um, what's it called? He does this. Yeah. He does. He does that. Just just start. Yeah. I'm. I'm he, not. He literally does. He like, also does this. Just like yeah. randomly. I I can't even lie to you though. I like I'm playing playing Dollar Tree Smash after this. I don't pick a character for fun unless I can make JoJo's jokes, even if I don't end up saying the jokes. I don't, hey, here, let me let me help you out real quick. When you say JoJo joke, you can cut out a Joe. You just say a Joe joke. Sweater. <laughs> a Rocky joke. Like I'll 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 play Zelda and I go, you know my down B is my stand. It's just fun like that. Ugh, I I got I got on the hype train for that. <laughs> a little too early. Or late, I guess. Yeah, I love how uh you ever seen anyone play Jump Force? Yugi is basically... Yugi just has, has the Dark, dark he, Magician stand. He has multiple stands. <laughs> it's not fair. The arrow gives you one. And... Rewinding what we were doing before... Yo, it goes right into Captain Dynamax. Dynamax no, I mean, we've missed a few turns. Yeah, but I mean... This is still the first... And Geyser's gonna set rain, though. Even if it doesn't kill... It, it might, though. No, no, no. No, it's probably a defensively based one. I just don't know where it's all. Oh no, you know, what, you know what it is? What? It's a sandstream. Oh right, it still works until the weather changes. Yep. It's also got weakness policy, so it's definitely that defensively is, based. Yep. Oh, okay. That's weird though. No, that's I weird would, though because I would ex I would expect him. Actually, I no. Don't he's he's sacking all go in, in case of things. Or he's gonna switch it out too. How does he circumvent his low speed though with weakness policy? Like, how does he not get outsped by something else after? It, it doesn't matter. He's switching out. Yeah, so switching out is always high priority. See, that's. I know it's probably. No, that thing is not this good. That's. Ow. Just ow. I think that was actually his uh, his earth power. Maybe. I think uh, I think this Ferrothorn is just all physical defense. No, it did better against special. Remember, it literally tanked a hit from a fire. So I, I want to find out. I want to find out after this. So we played each other round four. I gotta ask you, when you Dynamax, did you invest any candies in your actual Dynamax, or did you just hit the button and expect what it's gonna? Uh, are you talking about the Dynamax? Candies? Like, like, like when you Dynamax, you double your health essentially. Yeah. Right? Did you invest candies so that health increase would happen? Because that's what investing in the candies does. It gives you, it gives it your, can... it gives you a higher cap when you max. Yeah, I, I have all my guys maxed out. Okay, then Dynamax. I'm just really bad at math, or it's visually screwing me because he was at yellow, right? He maxes. It goes back to what it looks like before. Um. So when you Dynamax, it doubles both your current health and your max health. So basically, so you, just you keep put, the same percentage. It just puts you in the same place with a high with a high number. Yeah. Okay. So like, if you have fifty percent of your health left and you Dynamax, you still have fifty percent of your health. You just have more. To but work with now. like with with Tyranitar, he has fifty one. He would have one hundred two. Okay. Out of whatever. Uh, yeah. Out of what? Uh, a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whew. And Sand is back. So, uh, speaking of Gen 5, uh, Weather Wars? That's all it was. That, that's what we're looking at right yeah. here. Like, this has just been one gigantic Even before Sun and Hail show up and say, yo, I decided to pop by. Yo, Hail desperately needs a buff. It needs something. Hail doesn't need a buff. You know what needs a buff? Every ice Pokemon that isn't Dormanitan and they need a Freeze Beam. 
They need to sadly nerf how the status works, but give a move that on command freezes not, I have a chance of freezing you. There's not a single move in Pokemon that says, I straight up freeze you. Well, even though freeze, even though being frozen is literally busted. I don't know, I don't know if I agree with that, because ice, ice, the ice typing for moves, like on offense, is actually great. That would just make it even more good. But that's why you nerf the status condition, condition itself. I, like, I, I would burn, agree. sleep, poison, those all have conditions that you can influence yourself to, neg to you know, make yourself last longer. Frozen just says, did you thaw? Nope. Sucks to be you. Next seven turns after, did you thaw? Nope. Sucks to be you. Yeah. There, like, only two moves in the game actually fix that. I, the, I, would, I would agree to that if only Ice-type Pokemon could learn that move that's like an auto-freeze. No that would be the point, I yeah. assume. Maybe not everyone gets it. Like, Darmanazan don't really need it. Yeah. Unless he, by accident, smashes it later. But, like, that's just seems weird. I think, I think they need to rework uh, resistances for Ice-type. Like, give it, give it, like, something. Like, resistances to something. That, or Ice should be way more defensive instead of the method that, you know, glass can break. Yeah. That's kind of what it's based on. Well, it just gets hit by too many, too many popular types. Like, Rock, Steel, Fighting, yeah. Fire. I mean, I never, when I was, you know, first learning anything about Hulkrun, and then competitive, I was like, okay, I know, I don't know why Poison Beat, I like, I didn't know Poison is good against, is, you know, can't touch Steel. Why can't Poison touch Steel? Because in real life, it can't really corrode certain metals. Okay, that's why the corrosion ability exists. Like, there's real world logic to why weaknesses happen. Ice yeah. is weak to a lot of things in general because ice breaks like glass in cartoons. Yeah. Kind of, there's always a way to reason that. It's just weird. I still can't figure out why poison beats grass, though. That, I don't got anything on that. I guess because, like, you can poison plants? I don't know. But it's still a plant. Yeah. See, Hawthorne's very... No, that wasn't special, was it? Actually, I don't know. I have to double check. Because they all have the same graphics, mostly. I think Psychic er, and yeah, Fairy it, have two different graphics for them. But, like, everything like that is all the same. Yeah, thing. Max Rockfall, special or Rockfall not, or is, physical. Is, rock, is his Rockfall specifically, though, a special? Or is it physical? Well, oh, it's physical. It's, yeah, it's it's on um, an extra drill. Oh. Eh. I've seen differences. It's weird. You've seen special it. extra drill? That was also Gen 5, so shut up. <laughs> Some, someone did something stupid. What do you want from me? Doesn't mean it was good. It just happened. So what I want to know is why is he tanking that? All of a sudden? <laughs> I think he's physically defensive. I think it's all physical defensive. Then, uh, then if I'm wrong, how do you tank, tank the fire? Maybe earlier? maybe he's got defense and special defense investment and no HP investment. Which is no, seems you weird. You avoid me. special attack investment. Duh. <laughs> what? Wait, what happened? Okay. Salad dressing. The switch out to Quiznart. Okay. So, so how's the floating easy bake oven doing here? How did he get? How did Rodom he get relevant again? Um, I mean, it was relevant in the Sun and Moon, it's just Wash had better things, and the fact that whatever was left over from the older game makes Heat more relevant. Yeah. Honestly, if it's not Torkoal for Trick Room, this is the best thing that he uses over Heat. It's dumb. Yeah. Um, also, I mean, like, as opposed to, like, his other form, at least, like, he actually has, like, a useful move. Yeah. Like, overheat, or, yeah, Overheat is actually a pretty good move. Basically, they've each got, you know, two stab-based moves based on the form. It's just Rotom... What? Yeah, which one? Yeah, I agree. Respect. And Mr. Fish. See, that was, even then, that was a smart switch-in, because... What, you don't like the Fish Abomination? <laughs> I like it when it's shiny because it's black and gray and beastly like that. Oh, yeah, yeah I respect <laughs> it. See, that was a really smart change in, though. I feel the same way. I feel the same way about Tox Effects. Fucking Pete. Fuck. Wow, you're lucky you didn't play me because half my team was defensive stuff and, and nobody saw my trick card. Just 
throw in, you know, my Snorlax from VGC and see what happens. Like, three, di three different rounds, Snorlax alone took out a quarter to half of people's teams. It makes no sense. Yeah, I was the, I was the only one that, like, was you, able you, to get past it. You, no, everyone <laughs> got past it sooner or later. I mean, sooner like, or later, Recycle stops working. Yeah. What? Oh, it's G it's G Max Curse Recycle. Yeah. Um, and the only other of uh, the other attack I use is um the laziest graphic I've ever seen, Darkest Lariat. It's got such a great animation. Can I, can I finish <laughs> this? Is that it's okay? It's such a great animation with okay. Snorlax. We're playing a Smash. Alright, uh, cool. Yeah. All right, it's just the other move that you pick that is an offensive besides like facade return sub kind of thing is. I I I went with Darkest Slayer because I would rather ignore stat changes and it looks funny. High horsepower is dumb though. I can't deny that. It's yeah. It's just you you got you gotta you just just for the funnies, go look up video footage of Snorlax doing Darkest Slayer. I'm pretty sure you will laugh like way too hard. It's hilarious. Dark, yeah, it, it's insane or a spin move. The one he doesn't spec. Yeah, Snorlax can learn it. So just imagine and it's a great move in Jenny. Imagine Snorlax T posing and spinning. <laughs> it's it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. It's great. It makes him my third favorite Pokemon now. <laughs> oh fourth. See Here we I'm, go. I'm, I'm seeing some very similar vibes. Here we go. This have you experienced that feeling of deja vu? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I think this this could actually go like if it, these are the last two, this could go to a struggle. Or no, actually, in this game, it would go to time. I don't think any of these guys can like do something. To There's the only other. one Pokemon in all of these games, and only by hacking means could it ever go to struggle with it. Agreed. There's only one thing that would ever go to struggle. With it. It's put hacking it in, putting metronome, 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 sick and Mew. You just spam all fi all five of each metronome or whatever PV it's at, and then eventually struggle happens. It's my favorite thing to do on Showdown. Oh shit! That actually works. Dude, you, you can't. Can you, yeah, there's like every every gen has a meta for hack bombs. Oh yeah, yeah. And then gen one random battles are really just casual mode because you it, everything is random. You can't make a team, and Mew is legal. Yeah, so it's Wonder funny. Two. I guess you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Because this fairy type exists, but yeah. So Hawthorne's a lefties. All right. I went with Rocky Helmet, but that's also because I expected people to crash into me. <laughs> I'm Ferrothorn. Nobody likes me. Should have nicknamed him that. Damn it! Expecting the uh, flamethrower? Maybe. Did he? Did he flamethrower? Did he U-turn? Uh, I think he. No. Uh, who? Uh, it, d it doesn't matter. He's like Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. So we can we can swap. Only problem is water flying. That's a lot of stones. And stones damage. Yeah. He and set uh, rain. Does he? St do you even have a Ludicolo around? Oh, he does. Yeah, he still does. All right, come on. He still does. Put in the Ducktales. Woo! All of his guys honestly benefit from having room. What? Oh, it really would be. I play it to exercise. It's like the two times I ever exercise all year. <laughs> I'm just in. I named it, uh, my friend named it after a friend who's just as big as it. If it works. Yo. <laughs> With what move? Yo, in the rain? No. No, I don't believe that's, that's fake. It's fake news. It's fake news. Terrible. Here we go, we're about to see it. Boop! No, he's what not. was that, son? Oh, he's dropping a Draco! He's dropping a Draco! Here we go. Boop! By Lucodio. No, no, oh, no. no! Man walked in here and said, I don't know about you, but if you can, if I can be left at 5 health, so can you. Base, yeah, base, base 100 special. Honestly, I think if any, if it's good anywhere at all or close to good, it's better in BGC because it's signature move Dragon Darts. In singles, yeah, it hits twice per week, but 
it's a spread move in doubles, and it's still good as a, as a as a single hit. It's a it's a it's weak, but it's good. Does it does it, it get the the what? spread? Like you know how yeah, dragon dragon darts and doubles become spread. So one missile goes to each. Instead yeah, of two but on one. what I'm asking is, you know how like when you use earthquake, it, it goes down. Uh, it goes down, but remember, stab will bring it right back up. It's a yeah. type move, and plus, it's his signature move. Why wouldn't it have stab? No, that's not what I'm asking. Yeah, I can tell. It's not. It's 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 sad, but true. What were you saying? Uh, it was basically like you, when you when you use an attack. Well, oh, right, Wolfie. Well, when they split, right? Yeah. When no. Um. The attack. The dragon darts is a multi-hit move. Yeah. In singles. So each hit is individual. When in doubles, does one hit goes to each Pokemon, therefore one hit on each, do, like do normal. You, does it only target one, and then it hits something else? No. It's it's, it's like EQ. It'll spread, but only to their... Or, sorry, yeah. Dazzle and Gleam. It's but, like that. It only hits their side. But, but like, like with Earthquake, you know, when you look at, like, when yeah. you're choosing who you pick, it, like, automatically picks everything. With it Dragon Darts... It, it automatically picks both sides, because Dragon Darts ain't, um, in singles ain't, is a two-hit move in increments of 50 base power. So in doubles, one gets ba one side it targets both. One side gets base fifty, the other side gets base fifty. It yeah. spreads between the two with one, e each of the two hits. Okay. So this is uh, some stall. Ooh, psychic fangs, smart. Remember how we said screw Toxapex? This is why. Yeah, but that it's still just isn't enough. It's a lot of bite. Honestly, I think Vicious Ren might actually do more damage in this situation. Weirdly enough. Yeah. This was actually one of the things Wolfie experimented on with it, actually. It, I was, think, a, I think, it was an in-rain Toxapex. I think I think with uh, Dracovish, the only the only reason to not go Vicious Ren is if it's like if they have water absorb. It's either water absorb or there are I can't remember which one there is, but there are a few ways it can just not die and not care. It's just there's 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 some things to do it. Maybe if it like it's quad quad resist water. There's a good. Quad resist water would do it. I know for a fact that at most teams that Drag Dragovish just synergizes with, Gastrodon does just screw it over. Anything with Storm Drain dies. Yeah, that that's what he said in the Dragovish video at least. You know, Storm Drain makes the team cry. <laughs> yeah, Stor uh, Storm Drain and Water Absorb. Those are the two. Right. If, if that's like the only time where I, I think you don't want to use Ficious Ren. Right. That's kind of why we play Leech Life, kids. <laughs> Go for that burn. It's not happening, fam. It hasn't happened all the time. See, this, this we're just repeating things a lot. Oh Star my god, Wars. it's it, here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, actually, this isn't the sun. This is just neutral. The sun, <laughs> the sun is gone, but the clouds are gone too. My Beatles reference. <laughs> just wet do -do 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 -do. light. <laughs> right over. <laughs> Smiley's on his last legs. I didn't even realize that. He's down to Toxapex and and uh, Excadrill. See, that's the thing. Daryl, Daryl has a lot of power, but if he's if he loses Daryl, there's nothing you can do about it. He needs to keep sand up. That's that's the thing. How's he gonna? I don't think he can he get can't, it. Up. He can't get it up. He's at, he's out of max. She said. He's out of max, <laughs> and he has and he has no uh, and he has no um, sandstorm center. The question. We could also just do that. That's cool. Ooh, boosting the speed. Actually, I forgot about that. It, at every rapid spin, boost speed now. That's why Gossifleur is a, is a dumb Pokemon. Cotton down and boosting speed, because it naturally learns rapid spin. If it gets touched, they lose speed. It's just a speed tie. Oh my god! Also, um, Carcoal and the Colossal Lime. Yeah. They all level up naturally into what I think is this is a dumb sleeper idea. You could have complete attack investment because I experimented with this for the heck of it. It could have zero IVs in speed, zero EVs in speed, and a minus speed nature. It learns both rapid spin and flare and flame charge. If you just go back and forth based on tight matchups, within a couple turns, you'll probably have enough to just say, yeah, I had some speed investment in the first place. Also, you can absolve Vest and try and bait out the uh, fire. You really water. can. <laughs> and we are down to uh, 60 seconds, kids. I think, uh, I think Sal Salad Dressing has this in the Salad back. Dressing might have this down. 
unless Toxifex comes from out of nowhere and with the <laughs> luckiest scalds in the book with all the burns and crits anyone ever needed. Burn crit right here. Oh, no, he's No, it's he's Leech Seed. It's dead. He's quitting. He's going... And the battle has no, been I'm, conceded. I'm, Salad dressing takes the cake. I'm going to ask about... I'm going to ask about that.